Hey everybody, it's time for my weekly update on things happening in and around OEA. Uh, I'm going to begin with a couple of shout outs. First to the State Council of Professional Educators, uh, SCOPE. Uh, they represent uh, educators who work in our state facilities, uh, rehab corrections, uh, youth services, our School for the Blind, School for the Deaf. They had their professional day of learning, uh, union-sponsored, union-led, uh, this past Friday at COSI in Columbus. I had a chance to go and meet some of the members there. Uh, they had a very energetic day, great day of learning. Uh, congratulations to their leaders uh, for all the work that they do to lead professional development in their organization. Uh, also want to give a shout out to Bill Sears. Uh, Bill's a retired educator, former school counselor in Goshen Local Schools. Uh, he was honored with the Friend of Education Award by the Southwestern Ohio Education Association on Saturday. Uh, Jeff and I were at their RA and uh, Bill's a former president of SWOEA. He's the former chairperson of the OEA Retired Advisory Council uh, and a fantastic human being richly deserving of this award. Congratulations, Bill, and congratulations to SWOEA for recognizing his leadership. Uh, this week is American Education Week. Uh, it's an exciting week. I always look forward to it, not just because Thanksgiving is right around the corner, uh, but it is. Uh, but it's, it's a week that we have an opportunity to really celebrate the important impact that public education has on our communities. Uh, we are the ones who really shape the future for our state, uh, provide opportunities for students. Uh, two groups in particular that I wanna recognize. Uh, tomorrow is National ESP Day. Uh, our education support professionals drive our buses, serve food in our cafeterias, keep our schools safe and clean, and really provide a conducive environment for learning. Uh, thank you to every one of you who is an education support professional, no matter what your role, uh, there is no way that our schools could function without you, uh, and you also are critically important in this Ohio Education Association. And then on Friday, it's National Substitute Educator Day. Uh, take some time to show love to the subs in your building. Uh, we know that we have a significant sub shortage. Uh, that's a function both of funding as well as the job market. Uh, and I think even more fundamentally, we just don't have enough people going into the education profession for a whole variety of reasons. Uh, but Friday is an opportunity to, to give special thanks to our substitute educators. When I was uh, down at SWEA on Saturday, I had a chance to have a conversation with some leaders from the Middletown Teachers Association. They're very, very frustrated with the impact that school vouchers are having on their community. In fact, their contract negotiations have stalled because uh, the financial impact of students receiving vouchers, uh, ed choice vouchers, uh, is, is really devastating the finances in their district. Uh, and we're hearing stories like that more and more from across the state. I'd like to hear more about how vouchers are affecting you in your community. OEA has always opposed school vouchers. We believe that public dollars need to remain in public schools. Recently, for a variety of reasons, one was the elimination of Safe Harbor, the second was an expansion of vouchers in the last budget, uh, we're seeing a greater and greater impact on our schools. Uh, we're joining forces with school boards and superintendents to fight back, uh, but we need your help. Uh, and finally, uh, I want to uh, give special, th uh, special thoughts uh, to our brothers and sisters in Indiana. Uh, the Indiana State Teachers Association and tens of thousands of their members are marching on the Capitol in Indianapolis today uh, as part of the Red for Ed movement. Uh, because they know that they need better pay for educators and better working conditions and learning conditions for their students. Over 100 districts are closed down uh, for this mass walkout today. Uh, please send them your good thoughts. Uh, hope you have a great week. Thanks.